Hello. The past several months have been all about getting the layout up and running, which I have now done, and I've got a lot of it constructed. There's more construction to do, and that will continue for, you know, who knows how long. But I decided it's also time to start to clean up a few things. One of the things I mentioned in an earlier video was kind of the rat's nest that I had in, in the wiring for the adjust plug lighting system for the vehicles, the buildings, other structures. I'm now working on getting that cleaned up and getting it to a point where it's no longer a rat's nest. That is going to involve disconnecting everything uh, from the power supplies and then I've got to construct a new train table, control table for my transformers and for the wiring and lighting hubs, expansion hubs and so forth for the just plug lighting system that will go in this end of the table near where my transformers were before but turned 90 degrees from where they were before. On the other end of the table I also have some just plug lighting controls and lighting hubs, expansion hubs, port sharing devices and so forth and on that end of the table I need to construct a, an electrical panel if you will. Basically just a sheet of plywood that is freestanding that I can then put the lighting hubs, expansion hubs, port sharing devices, switches, auxiliary switches if I decide to do that at some point, have them mounted in a way that looks neat and tidy and also is easy to be able to track down problems and, and know what is connected where. So The way I'm doing this is that I've, I'm taking the expansion hubs, which is this device. So I have two expansion hubs on here already. I'll use this one on the, on the other end, the circuits on the other end. And each expansion hub lets me attach four light hubs. There's four ports for the light hubs. So four light hubs gives me four more ports. So it's 4 times 4, that gives me 16. And then I'm, ta I'm taking, in each of these ports here, I'm attaching a port sharing device. So that gives me 4 ports on the port sharing device. So it's 4 times 4 times 4. So now I'm up to 64 potential connections for each one of these boards on each end for a total of 128 lights that I could control. I don't have that many and I may never have that many but in the meantime I have room to expand here as much as I want to. I can add a lot of lights onto this layout without running out of attachment points. I'm not putting up all of the light hubs, I'm not putting up all of the uh, port sharing devices yet. Uh, that'll, that'll follow uh, on the other end I have the potential for 64. So I'm going to continue with attaching these, uh, putting these together, 
uh, I'm trying to preserve the connections that I have as much as possible. What that means is that I'm trying not to uh, pull them too hard and pull wiring out or anything like that. So I'm continuing with doing that slowly and carefully to move the connection points onto the board. Once this is finished, I can slide this backward uh, against the wall and it'll fit well. The other part of this, as you can see, is the transformers are sitting down here now well below the table level. That will clean up the appearance a great deal. This is the uh, main uh, connector point for all of the power to the rails. Uh, and this is going to be moved onto the uh, platform that I have down here uh, in this area here. I need to disconnect all of these wires, attach the uh, uh, board to the table, and then reattach the wires. So that I'm on about day four in my project to reposition all of the just plug lighting system connections for my traditional O gauge Polar Express layout. This uh, table was about eight inches higher. I cut it down so that it's below the surface level of the train tables and not so obvious. And I also put a backboard on it to mount on the just plug lighting system. That includes the expansion plugs at the bottom, then above that light hubs, and above that port sharing devices. On the far right side is the uh, sequencing light hub that I use for the waterfall on the train tunnel. I've also brought the main wiring harness for the track system uh, through uh, a hole in the back of that board and uh, screwed it down onto the train table. And I've got the transformers lined up there with the, uh, uh, for the uh, newest transformer. Uh, I've got the uh, power pack for it underneath and then a light strip attached that I can plug everything into. I'm continuing to work on that. I've just got a couple more connections to make there. But the biggest project coming up now is on the opposite end of the train table. And let me take you to that right now. There's a rule for carpentry that says measure twice, cut once. And I, uh, I did not follow that rule. So as a result, I had to cut those little notches out of the two corners at the top. You can see there in order to have it fit in the layout the way I wanted it to. And then I also, since I was doing some alterations to it, I cut those four large holes, used a hole saw to make those four large holes across there, which I'll use to bring the wires through the board into the just plug connections for them so that everything can be connected out without having to squeeze wires through holes that are really too small. The smaller holes work just great for connecting the uh, expansion ports, which is uh, one down here at the bottom, to the light hubs, and then the light hubs to the uh, port sharing devices, which I've got uh, behind that little board there, I'm using a, a clamp to get them tight, secured tightly out there, adhesive to the backboard. But to bring the connections for the uh, lights themselves, the buildings and the other lights, uh, through the board, uh, bigger holes work better. And so I used a hole saw to cut those and bring those through. My project for today is to bring those cords through, connect everything up and make sure everything is working again. Uh, and that's, uh, that'll be the true test of, of how well we're doing with this. Finally, after a very long week of working on repositioning wiring, I think I'm finally there. All the lights seem to work. They all are lighting up the way they're supposed to. The trains are powering up the way they're supposed to. Uh, we'll check and see if they run. Yeah, there we go. Polar Express runs. Now we'll try and see if the Polar Express freight runs. Yeah, there we go. All right, I'm going to shut that down, kill the noise in here. But I have finished repositioning all of the wiring. I took the train transformer table cut it down by eight and a half inches below the 
level of the table, so it's below the surface of the table, so it's not quite as obvious and not a messy looking place. And I also put a little board on the back that gave me room to put a little board on the back that I then used to mount the uh, expansion ports, light hubs, sequencing light hubs, and port sharing devices for the just plug lighting system. So all the cars, all the just plug lights, all the buildings are all illuminated now. That have, all of them that have lights so far, and I have a tremendous amount of room for expansion. I've got all kinds of uh, open ports still to expand into, so I'm going to be able to add a lot more lights to the layout as time goes on, which I think is a, a good thing because lights add a lot of drama and interest to a model railroad layout. If you're doing anything with your model railroad layout and you have the opportunity to add light somewhere, do it because it just makes it more interesting. It just makes it more uh, fun to, for people to see and fun for you to fool around with. So that's it for this uh, segment. I have finally finished rewiring, repositioning all of my wires. I've got them in a very organized way. I've got lists of exactly which light is plugged into which port and that will serve me well going forward. I should have done this to start with, but I was in a hurry to get everything to, to work and everything to light up. And I just wanted to see what it looked like that way. But now I've done it right. So thanks for your time. Thanks for watching today. Please subscribe. Uh, hit the subscribe down below. Uh, hit the thumbs up. Like the video. And please share this with anyone else you know that may have an interest in modeling. Thanks for watching.